all right students so continuing the uh, inbuilt string functions the next function that we are going to see is in string function in this function the objective of this function is it returns the position of a certain string in the text for example it returns the position of a certain alphabet let's say in the name of a particular person syntax pretty simple you use the in string function over here and input the column name along with the string that needs to be found right we need the position of which string that string has to be added over here for example it might be column name first name string s so you want to find out where does s lies in the first name and then of course you go for table name from table name and complete the sql query let's see it in sql all right so let me use the i'll start with this let me use the hr underscore emp right so i'll just use this one oh it is h e all right now and uh, there is only one table over here employees so let me see we can go for describe function to describe this table employees right so yeah it describes a table you can see what type whether null is allowed or not or which one is the primary key and all so we can just go for let me actually go for the entire data set okay and see this is my favorite way of looking at the data doesn't matter how many you know functions do come up i think select start from the table name it doesn't get replaced isn't it right so now a select start from employees this is what i want to run i want to type it again so that the you know select star comma and let me input the function now in str right in string and i want to go for let's say i want to find out in the first name this is the name of the column where does a lies okay this will be interesting and uh, a lies from yep table employees right now if i run this you can see there is another column which is getting created but again the problem is i haven't given an alias over here so that the entire name of the function is coming out with the heading of the column so i like to change that i'll go for position right so i'll go for position over here now the position column over here reflects the position of alphabet a in the column number first name so aman it's one Lakshman, it's two. Abhishek, it is one. Bhuvan, it is five. But in Gopi, there is no A. So what gets reflected over here? It is zero. And zero indicates that there is no A. Now, if I play around further and let's say go for from employees, where this entire thing that is position is equal to zero. right does it run oh it is actually giving me error it's not identifying the alias over here i don't think capital p making it capital will also change things right it doesn't so i'll uh, right now it's not identifying the alias so what i need to do is to do the entire in string function over here put it over here and then equate it to zero right so yeah now it represents the entire set of the name of all the employees for whom the letter a doesn't come in their first name okay so this is how we can play around we can do a number of things for example we can say first name in either 0 or 1 so here i'm indicating either the name starts with a or it doesn't have any so i'll it'll reflect all the employees for whom the first name starts with a or doesn't have any so n number of applications can be done n number of things can be done using this particular function right so sky's the limit right let's move on to the next one